feeling dry and thirsty? I can help. Please call 1-800-WARCO-WATER for a free sample of how to build and collect water from thin air. Let us put biomimicry to work for you. Eureka, I got someone with the wild rice questions in the corner right now. What's the big fuss, Mr. Rancher? I know how we can help caterpillar and tiger and learn to think what we can do. It has been such an uphill battle trying to save our endangered California tiger salamander. Look at the habitat loss from so much human de development and uh, vineyard development along the California Central Valley. The California tiger salamander has little chance thanks to us humans. How can we build a better relationship with our na native California tiger salamander? Can we make life better for them and us? What is your opinion, Mrs. Salamander? How well do humans treat you? Terrible. I have given up hope. My poor ex and mama cannot even make it to June without drying up because of the drought. Small waterways and vernal pools are destroyed by vineyard and housing developments. What can you do? I, we can help restore the water, the water water structure. Like that's gonna happen. Humans will just take the water for themselves and leave the ponds high and dry like they do now. They are driven by money and greed. How can we fight that? Wait, let's listen to his idea. We know a five year drought in California that is limiting progress on saving the California tiger salamander. But maybe he's onto something. Are you talking about the local water structure? I saw how it's helping people in Ethiopia harvest water for the village. Not all, not all humans are greedy, but I'm willing to help out in some more cost effective to keep my ponds from drying up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, let us explain our future vision to help save the California tiger salamander. Our team did research on human interactions with California tiger salamanders and found out why they are on the federal endangered species list. They are going extinct because their habitat is being taken over by companies growing grapes from wine and housing developments along the California Central Valley. Farmers are using pesticides without any regard to the species' special semi-permeable membranes, this, which makes them vulnerable <coughs> to environmental chemical contamination. We did a survey in our school to see if we could raise awareness and gather our data on how we can best save the California tiger salamander. We learned that many students and even some teachers did not realize that by saving the California tiger salmon, we can we can potentially save our planet because these creatures are great bioindicators. Bioindicators are living organisms that give us an idea of the health of an ecosystem. If we know the health of our ecosystem, <coughs> then we can help preserve Earth's biodiversity. The California tiger salamanders may also help us develop medicine and prosthetics for humans in the future because they can regrow their limbs when they've been cut off. That's amazing. As I know, I like saving the California tiger salamander to prevent a terrible chain reaction because of because they can help stop the spread of disease from humans by controlling the mosquito population as part of their food chain. We took field trips to the Sacramento Zoo and visited small waterways in Alameda County, where we found all their ponds dry and were shown special specimens of California tiger salamanders that were dried up before they were even larvae because of the devastating drought. They need water. The problem that the California tiger salamanders face daily is a loss of their habitat, uh, of vernal pools, small waterways, and mitigated land made worse by the ongoing drought. Our solution is to restore small waterways on federally supported mitigated land using the Warco water structure to help save the California tiger salamanders to to survive through their most vulnerable state, the egg and larvae. This led us to the Waka Water Structure Research. Its inventor, Arturo Vitor, and his team studied the limited field shell, lotus flower leaves, spider web threads, and fog co collection systems in cacti to come up with specific materials and coatings that can enhance dew condensation, water flow, and storage capabilities of a mesh to collect water without the need for electrical. Please look at this picture. The shape is unique to, in its vertical structure designed to harvest potable water from the atmosphere. It will collect rain, harvest fog and dew, and preventing vernal pools from drying out. This is an existing solution for people in Ethiopia that we can easily apply here in California as a new way to save the California tiger salamander. The cost of the material is $550 for the size we need. The reason for the no the low cost is easily obtainable biodegradable materials such as bamboo, fiber ropes, and bioplastic. We will build it as part of our community service. It will take three people three days to do it. Our research of field trips has led us to conclude that existing efforts that, such as building roadway tunnels, having sites for awareness, active protest, and mandated federal listings are not enough and cost was a problem. Therefore, it led us to the work of water structure. Please look here as Animal Allies, our team's vision of story, restoring water 
to their habitat will not only make life possible for the California tiger salamander, and will even make life better for them. We share the project at our team's Ridge, our principal of at a Brookfield school, and in several science classes. We also sent a copy of our presentation to the Sacramento Zoo and the, the wildlife special, specialists. Specialists. We would like to thank our professional contact mentors, Lindsay and Marcia, in helping with our research. Please refer to the post to the poster for all our research references.